Hello guys, Brickclick here, and today we have more LEGO leaks, so stay tuned to find out more. If you do enjoy the video, why not like the video and subscribe and turn on notifications to help us get to 70,000 subscribers, but let's get into it. So the LEGO Icons vehicle line has definitely had a bumpy few years, with sets not performing as well as LEGO of Hulk with things such as the Camaro or the Corvette, but in 2024, LEGO are looking to revive things and bring in a pretty iconic car into life in LEGO with 10337, the Lamborghini Countach will be the next Icons vehicle. When it hits shelves, it's going to come in with 1,506 pieces, so a pretty sizable model. Sadly though, it will be coming in at a high price tag for that piece count of $180 and is going to be racing onto shelves in a few months time on July 1st, 2024. The current rumour is that the Lamborghini Countach will be in a white colour, which I'd say is the most iconic. And just like we saw with the Porsche 911, which released in 2021, it does also have a Speed Champions counterpart in the same colour, so you will be able to display them together, which I think will definitely be great. And hopefully it will also have the iconic scissor opening doors. So it's going to be a good one. I'm sure a lot of people are excited for this one and what it'll look like with the rest of the LEGO Icons vehicle collection, so we see the images in early June time. And then we also got some information about the brand new Sonic 18 Plus set coming later this year after the first one in 2021. This one, a very interesting concept, 77000 Shadow the Hedgehog bust. This one, essentially one of those giant Marvel or Star Wars character heads built for Shadow the Hedgehog, coming in with 720 pieces, and that one should be costing you $70, so around the same price as the other helmets. It's going to be launching towards the end of the year on October 1st, 2024, so definitely interesting concept for a Sonic 18 Plus set, I don't think any of us really saw that one coming, but what we did see coming was another 18 Plus Batman vehicle, which is going to be the case in 2024. The next one is set to be 76328, the classic TV series Batmobile, long overdue in the 18 Plus line, coming in with 1,822 pieces. That one, actually really good value for DC and also a big set at $150. That one is launching at the end of the year as well, on October 1st, 2024. This one, essentially a giant version of the playset one we saw released back in 2021. This one will also have a Batman minifigure included, so you'll have the Adam West Batman minifigure and also an information pack will be included. So imagine just a giant supersized version of that playset and I'm sure this one will be a pretty good seller. And what I also think will be a pretty good seller is the images of the brand new LEGO Dream sets which we got yesterday. This is going to be launching in August including Cooper's C-Rex. This one coming in for $80 or £70. These include some incredible minifigures which you'll see throughout me talking about these Dreams models. And as of all the Dream sets you do have that 2 mom function to build it as a dinosaur or also a flying bird which is definitely nice the other one is going to be this giant eagle build of a really cool one for the never witch this one is going to be the never witch's midnight raven this one coming in at 100 dollars on 90 pound this one a great build with a actual house which can also add legs onto it and then we're going to get this trans pink uh, raven included in the set as well which is looking amazing some amazing versions of mateo as well i absolutely love how these new dream sets have come out and the final set is going to be mateo and z bob's mech this one coming in for 130 dollars or around about 150 pound this one is going to be a giant mech made out of blue white and green colors it's looking really good and you can just see in the lifestyle images just how big this one is going to be and as i keep saying with all these dream sets once again having some incredible minifigures so those are the three sets we've seen so far of course there's going to be three more a part of the line we should see images of those later on in the year as we near august but definitely exciting for lego dreams and then over the past few years, the Disney Brickheads line has been incredibly popular, so it makes sense that later this year, we're getting 40749, the Inside Out 2 Brickheads pack. Inside Out 2 is said to hit theatres this summer, so it makes sense we're getting a pack. This one is actually going to be a free pack of joy, sadness, and also anxiety, which will be brand new for the second film. It's going to include 300 pieces and should be retailing for around $25. It's going to be launching when that film is releasing in cinemas around June 1st, 2024. So I'm sure if it's just as popular as any of the Disney sets, this one will definitely be a great one. And of course, as always, if you want to keep up to date with the latest news or you have any leaks, rumors, early set finds to share, you can message me and also follow me over on Instagram at brick underscore clicker, or you can email me at brickclickelite at gmail.com if you have anything to share. But what we are going to move on to now is some information about the next LEGO art set, which a lot of people have been talking about in excitement, being 31213, the Mona Lisa art piece. This one coming in with 1,503 pieces. It should be coming in at $100 when it launches on June 1st. We don't know exactly, the painting will be 30 centimeters wide and 45 three centimeters in height and the frame itself will be a gold frame which can be detached to use on other art sets that one is actually interesting as to my knowledge i don't think any of our art sets are that dimensions which potentially could suggest we are getting some more art sets in that style in 2025 or beyond so that'll be interesting to see and also over 300 gold pieces will be used for the frame this one it is rumored potentially it could be drum liquid gold so that one would look amazing in that shiny gold color or it could be pearl gold we'll just have to see and also in the model itself the eyes can be replaced with blank pieces for customization 
and the actual painting itself will be based off the original painting 500 years ago before it aged with age essentially so it'll be more of what you can see on screen now rather than the uh, the painting we see in galleries right now which is the one which is aged over time so i'm very interested to see how mona lisa ends up looking and earlier this year in february we got a space gift we purchased went down a huge success it seems like i did another one as a result of that the next one is going to be 40687 the space diner gift we purchased it's going to be coming in with 239 pieces and this one is going to be great for classic space fans as it will include a yellow and orange space man for this model which can be awesome and the diner itself will include a ufo a rocket ship and also stars of some of the brick built objects we don't know how much exactly you'll have to spend to get it yet but we do know it will be available from may 14 so keep an eye out for more details and pictures when we do get them on the channel what we did get images of is another brickhead you know all the more brickheads the next one up is going to be commander cody brickheads number 226 this one retailing for the usual 10 dollars or 10 pound launching on may 1st it shows commander cody in his first two outfit also holding the hologram as well i absolutely love this one of course we still need to see images of the phantom menace brickheads pack i'm sure that one will be any day now we did also get images of the brand new star wars dioramas and also build world Droidica, including the build world pod rest diorama coming in for 80 dollars or 70 pound launching on may 1st definitely divided opinion on this one over the price being 80 dollars which definitely does seem high but a lot of people are liking the droid cut which is going to be coming in for 65 dollars or 60 pound those will also launch with the ucs tight interceptor we should see images of next week then we're going to move on to LEGO City where we got a bit of a disappointing news about the Space Explorers pack. It turns out it isn't actually a brand new LEGO City space set but instead just a combo pack of three of the sets that launched in January. It's not all bad news though as this will come in for $32 or £25 so a bit of a saving instead of buying all the sets individually which is nice. That one available from May 1st. Then we got much better images and also some pauses on the brand new City Jungle animals including the Gorilla and the Baby Gorilla. The Adult Gorilla is going to have a lot of posability which is definitely good for displays and I'm sure a lot of people will have a lot of fun with this one and it does also have a printed face which actually looks like a really good quality print so it's great to be getting a brand new gorilla then of course like i said we will be getting the baby gorilla he has a printed face as well and is one larger mold and you can see him on the back of the larger gorilla which i love and also in the smaller set we will be getting a red panda which is great printing and also molding again so can't wait for those but another thing people can't wait for is the brand new lord of the rings set after rivendell being barado we don't know what it is getting a promo being 40693 lord of the rings promo we don't know what it is yet but we do know it'll contain 269 pieces and should be an 18 plus set so this one should be some sort of display promo sadly though it will only be available when buying barra dirt from june 1st so essentially a 460 dollar threshold which definitely isn't the best but we did get promos of is the next one being lego shops of the world 2 this one being the fruit store thankfully it's going to be a bit easier to obtain than the lord of the rings promo as it's going to be available from april 15th to april 25th and that one just like the first edition will be available with 200 or 180 pound spends on anything so a nice little promo of course if you're collecting these or you collect the house of the world is the next one in the collection but that's not going to be the only promo from april 15th as there will also be a polybag combo so you get this aurora's forest playground and also the gift animals as a two-in-one promo that is going to be available from april 15th and slightly longer to april 29th in the fryer fruit store and that one is going to be available so you get both polybags when you spend 50 dollars or 45 pound spends sadly though not on anything as it will only be on dreams creator disney princess friends and also animal crossing it's a bit limited with the promos but still plenty of themes and and you can also if you're buying those themes stack it with the fruit store so that is pretty good of those brand new promos coming next week and then over a year ago now we got images of the Millicent di Dragon diorama but sadly it is some bad news about this one. It seemed like I've scrapped that concept and turned it into something else which is a big shame. It was an amazing one as now 43240 will be Maleficent's dragon form. Now coming in at a lot smaller, 583 pieces and retailing for $70 and sadly it will now be turned into a mini doll set for kids essentially. That doesn't mean they won't make this in the future but it doesn't seem like we're getting it in 2024 and use it they won't make a set when it has a similar version on shelves. So I presume it could be like 2026 even until we see this one if we see it at all but for now i pretty much said this one is cancelled but what isn't cancelled at least is the brand new lego disney mark scale park attraction we now know the next one will be 40720 mini disney sleeping beauties castle it's going to come in with 528 pieces and should be retailing like the other park attractions for 40 dollars this one will be a mark scale version of sleeping beauties castle we don't yet know if it'll have a minifigure but some of the other disney wave for the summer includes 43245 the magical madrigal house this 
not been supersized with 1560 pieces coming in for 160 dollars that one is going to be great as it will include this brand new donkey mode you can see on screen which is going to be amazing but not only that we are getting for free 251 antonio's animal sanctuary with 310 pieces this will include this brand new molded leopard we've also printed so yet another animal coming to lego form in summer and then for free 252 will be moana's flower pot this one coming in with 691 pieces for 40 dollars that one should be in the same style as the other i think it was isabel's flower pot we saw earlier this year so those will be great to match together for botanical fans and like we forget we're getting two simbas we're getting the 130 dollars for adults and it's only dealing one for kids both those will be build versions of simba and all those disney sets i just mentioned will be launching on june 1st and then we got a lot what's coming in the next lego minecraft magazine this one includes a drown and also a player this one pretty good to get two characters once again in the minecraft magazine also including some pretty good accessories like the sword and the shield which come in in that cheap like rather five dollar magazine message if you live in europe and then in the next lego ninjago legacy one we will get a cindy minifigure and also a kai minifigure it's a bit weird putting new dragons rising minifigures in the legacy magazine but it makes sense given we're not getting more legacy sets at the moment and actually in the ninjago sets coming in june we will be getting this awesome brand new evil Germany figure to look out for and then Lego announced a major partnership with Interbrand this week to create more interconnected brand essentially Lego is switching to a new brand style where everything fits within the Lego brick style so you'll see this within a brand new font used across all products and merchandise so you can see essentially if you see you can brick build out of Lego if that makes sense it will also be used in all advertisements and marketing as you can see it is brick built physically out of Lego well it's meant to look like that and also in the merchandising it will use that font and also that Lego style in all of these even the brand new font will make its way onto the paper bags and then also on the lego shop at home website as well and what they're going to be doing with boxes potentially in 2025 is using this contrasting color outline for me personally i don't think this looks very good it does look a bit ugly on the boxes especially 18 plus so let's hope we don't go for that when they choose to finalize all this but it is going to be this brand new grid building style for text and also buildable icons so if you got your bricks at home you can build what you see in these advertisements and text on the boxes which is pretty cool to make it more lego like and interconnectivity along the brand it is a bit confusing well hopefully that made sense and then we got images of the next Lego Despicable Me 4 set being the banana car. I believe this one is coming in for $25 or £20, including some Mega Minions as well, and also a banana car. Four minions in a set is pretty good. I'm sure a lot of you are excited to get some of these brand new Despicable Me 4 sets. Other sets are going to be including Gru's house coming in for $100 or £90. That one including the whole Despicable Me family in one set, which I think is definitely awesome. A little tree house with some more minions on it. And then the pretty cursed, a whole creative buildable Gru. This one coming in for $60 or £55 with five buildable minifigures and that brick build grew which is going to definitely put some people off buying this stuff i think but all those are going to be launching on may 1st we should see more images of those on april 22nd so a lot of news today i'm definitely excited for that brand new commander cody brickhead i'm loving those brand new lego city animals especially the gorilla the brand new promos look pretty good like that brand new fruit store cannot wait to see more what lego has in store for the summer for the lego dreams theme and of course i can't wait for that batmobile but most importantly of all i am looking forward to lamborghini Countach finally in the icons line so that's new new like leaks and rumors comment down below what are you excited for what are you not you can like the video subscribe and some notifications more like videos i'm gonna use video to watch any videos on screen now remember guys click here and i'm breaking i'll see you all there guys bye bye